Uh, you know, with things like uh, 24 by 7 connectivity, cloud-based enterprise solutions, uh, we seem to be working all the time. Anytime, anywhere, and through any device. Now, with these developments, as well as the growing population of millennials in the workforce, the working environment is fast changing. From co-working spaces to remote working, flexible working, and many other new phenomena like the rise of the freelance worker or self-employed workers. In the US, statistics cite that about 40% of all US workers earn some form of independent income. And we see this trend uh, actually on the rise in Malaysia too. With all these developments, the topic of the panel discussion today suggests that the office, the fixed office, fixed time, fixed place office as we know it is disappearing. And I'd like to get each of our panel members from each of their backgrounds to share what do you think and what are the implications for employers and policymakers? But if you think about it, right, when we walk into the office, we come out of these co consumer lives, right, of spot of choices and service everywhere, and we walk in an office where we have no choices, we don't get to choose where we sit, the cubicles we sit, the laptops we use, the people we work with, we don't. And we go into this environment that hasn't changed in the past 20 years. In the past 20 years, the only change we've seen in the workplace is technology, and that's with productivity. Right? So when we start a colony, right, we're not about community, we're not about collaboration or stuff like that, we're about changing the work experience. So we did a survey, right? We did a survey on, on what employees wanted. And we found, right, surprisingly, that actually employees didn't care about beanbags or games rooms or Wii's or pool tables or foosball tables. No. The things that employees cared about, right, number one, is great coffee. They wanted proper designer coffee and they're willing to pay for it. The second thing they wanted was a nap room. And the third thing, believe it or not, right, is actually a nursery or a kids' play area because a lot of millennials today are young parents. And I mean, the little things that even that we have in Colony that today that don't exist in the office today, like, for example, lactation rooms. To, to come back to the whole thing, right, I think that the office of the, of the future is that. And we're already seeing it in very developed markets where labor is competitive, like in Silicon Valley. Every company has all these facilities and more. And it's just a matter of time, right, where human capital becomes more skilled because AI takes on the rest of the stuff. Right? And the demand for talent requires that companies change their office and remove all the inconveniences of work. When we talk about disappearing office, are we really talking about space, a place? Are we talking about a different way of working? Are we talking about culture change? So just for this session, I did, we did a bit of a small survey. 53% of our IBM employees in Malaysia are below 35 years old. So we did a survey, we asked them, where would you like to work? From home, from the cafe, you know, at the office. And uh, the answers that came back was, was very interesting. Uh, no straight answer. Basically, it says, depending on the nature of work. And there is this balance between flexibility and engagement. So a lot of people say, I like the flexibility of working from anywhere, everywhere. But I also want to have the social interaction because I think engagement is important for me to understand uh, the culture of the company. It's extremely dangerous that people don't like to work in their own office. And, and you all remember a few years ago when Marissa Meyer took over at Yahoo, she ordered everybody to you have to work in the office. You cannot work at home anymore. And people were thinking, how can you be so, so, so outdated, right? How do you mean? But you have to create a workplace that actually is good for people to come. Let me share you what we did in the Netherlands, in my Amsterdam office of McKinsey. And for consultants, which are like the, the workers of the future, it's extremely important to have an appealing office to come back to. Because we work about four days a week in the, at the client side. So we want to attract people to come back to the office. The trick is, when you take away people's personal desk, you have to give more back. So you have to segment what are the activities people are doing. So in our piece of work, there's part where you work together. And you kind of make like a Starbucks cafe zone where people work together, you can have great coffee and you chatter. 
There's another zone where people do individual work, like a monk cell. Two by one meter, closed doors, no sound. There's another space which is more called library. Library is like at uni days. You sit on a table, you work, so there's people around you, but you don't talk to each other. There are other rooms which are more creativity, where you brainstorm, etc. And you redesign the office around these activities. And then suddenly people realize, I can be more productive and have more fun when I go to my own office than when I'm sitting at home. So what I've seen in Malaysia or in Southeast Asia, people designing an office, taking away individual offices, moving to big desks. Wrong, you're taking. You have to do the analysis on what are the activities, how do you create special places for each of the activities, and what are the social rules around this that make it work? So the question is, is the office disappearing? My answer is yes. Um, the, but more from a perspective of the workplace, as you and I define it today, is fast being replaced by something more adaptable, more dynamic, as Andre is saying. And I don't think we should be also proclaiming to know what it's going to look like. If I may, I also want to use uh, my experience to bring another perspective. And I think this is hopefully where we add value because, you know, we can talk about the, the theories and the uh, uh, studies and the findings from researchers. But let, let's draw upon what, what we've experienced. So, and I'm also from the perspective of it's not so much the place, but it's the performance, right? A lot of the management tools and thinking and products and guidelines are outdated. Now, we, well-intentioned people, and the gurus, of course, you know, have introduced a lot of tools and techniques and guidelines, and, and we run away and do policies, right? And that's why the, the MBO, you know, is not meeting its objectives, right? So my caution is, and, and I'm not at all prescribing or, or recommending that we decide whether it's remote or whether it's, you know, the one with the bean bags or the one with not. And to me, you know, this also applies to traditional offices, and I'm from a very traditional office, right? Uh, so my, my caution is, is really that. We do not pick and choose our philosophy. So diversity and inclusivity is someone I hold very, it's something I hold very, very precious you know, to my heart, and I think a lot of people here do. So I think that is very, very key. What do we have today in, in, in Industrial Revolution 4.0 and what the IOTs are giving us? It's given us accessibility, it's given us choice, and it's given us speed. So, so that on its own, you know, says a lot that we, should be, we shouldn't be prescribing. We should give people choices. Our, our best results are driven with social interaction. So whether it's at home or whether it's in office or whether it's a cafe, one way or another, we're going to need to meet our colleagues to come up with the best work, you know, to share ideas, to collaborate, to, to do all this kind of stuff, right? And, and I think that the exciting part is in the next few years, it, it's going to happen, right? Like, the expectations of the office in Malaysia is going to change. The change will come without us even realizing it. Like today, we all use like, you know, ride-sharing apps like Grab and Uber, like it's a second nature, right? Like when did we suddenly just wake up and say, hey, we're just using this instead of taxis or, or driving to work? But we just did. And I think the same thing is going to happen to our office space in the next few years, and it's going to be a very exciting few years. And the best part is that all of us are the beneficiaries of that.